All right, we got our drain plumb. Let me zoom in there. There she is. There's our manifolds and our hot and cold water service to the vanity. And the inch and a half drain that comes straight down out of the bottom of the wall. It goes right through that joist. Back this back up again. And then we uh, come out the other side of the joist. We have a little bit of fall as we go down the joist. And then we turn and we actually get a pretty quick run. It ties into that existing steel. You can kind of see that here. It does more of an extreme downward angle and then it goes into that and uh, that little section we we saw was packed full so I broke out the um, this this brush here and uh, reamed that sucker out real good. It's just full of black goo. You know that new material that's like blacker than anything we've ever created before and absorbs like 99 point something 998 percent of all light or something this is like the next blackest thing is the black crud that came out of there um it's actually sort of i had rags and stuff here but uh when i was removing the rags a piece of it flipped off the rag naturally and landed on the nice white washing machine and has ostensibly stained the top we're gonna have to see i got a couple places on, of it on the floor we're gonna have to see if i can get that to come out but we're tied in so run back up and check out how the p-trap came out ah, it's a nice day out i may have to go out and mow the lawn but we're getting to a point up here where we're ready to Take this vanity out and finish the wall. Take the faucet off, take the vanity and the sink out. Um, but I'll show you how this worked out here. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Right out the back, um, right down through that. Oh, uh, super lucky here, <laughs> knock on wood. Um, that, uh, tailpiece comes down into a second extension tailpiece which has a nut right there and even though that has a nut in the middle of it we clear the drawer look at that and obviously the other one clears so when we replace this tailpiece with one that doesn't require an extension to get to here and it's in fact all just one smooth section it'll be even cleaner in there and then we'll tighten all these capture nuts up and slide that. It's called a box flange. It's nice and deep. Uh, sorry about having only one hand here, but that covers up this ugly penetration into the back of the cabinet, which is so, so bad, but when we get everything tight here, we will snug him back up and this will be, I mean, the way that this looks when you're standing here, I mean, you can't even see the P-trap, which is, so nice it only just shows up right there so you really get a lot of great um under the sink storage you got his and hers toothbrush well it's toothpaste and grooming and whatever other stuff um because i have uh we went with chrome in here and chrome there that's brushed nickel that's brushed nickel that you know this stuff was all chrome from back in the day which is why i stayed chrome um, these are brass. It would be kind of, I think, better or justifiable to have gone with brushed nickel. But what was I driving at here? There was a reason I was talking about this. Um, well, we just, we didn't. But, uh, I can't remember what I was trying to say. Anyway, um, I have, uh, oh, that's what. I have the old toothpaste or toothbrush holder off the wall that'll go back on in here and we got a towel bar well we got a toilet paper roll holder a towel ring for here a robe hook for up on there and a towel bar over there all in chrome that's chrome that's chrome and i'm going to put the old let's see if i can find it um, i thought it was neat you can't easily find them anymore um, they're kind of nice i think rather than having a cup on the counter uh, here it is this, this little guy we're going to clean him up he holds a good drink cup and four toothbrushes and put him back on the wall too. 
because uh, we're in an old space and it's kind of fun to have that stuff. So I guess that's not the whole reason I went with Chrome hardware, but it's one of the reasons. And we got those flanges underneath there, looking nice. And things are starting to come together. Oh, now that we can take this stuff away, um, this cabinet will get a light refinish and I'm gonna spray it with a two-part clear coat, uh, like an automotive finish. Uh, I have some that you can mix and shoot in an HVLP gun, but these days you can also buy it in a rattle can where you pop the second component from the bottom, you pop it and uh, they mix inside the rattle can and you get 24 hours. Once you shake it up after you've popped the second component in there and they mix, you get 24 hours to use the contents of the can. So I think I'm gonna give that a shot and uh, when I have this the way I want it, the whole top and most of the outside will get a couple coats of that two-part clear which catalyzes and cures and that will make for a clear coat that's just about as strong as any of the clear coats on vehicles so you can imagine they take the road salt and extreme heat and cold and you know thousands of miles up and down the street and obviously rainwater and so that's my preferred finish type for real natural wood where it's going to be wet often from overspray and um, things like that so we're gonna get this cabinet out and do a little bit of that work on him and continue to work on the walls and get them painted and this won't come back together again until the floorings and walls are painted faucets on forever stuff like that so feeling pretty good I've got a couple weeks or a week and a half here and things should be coming down to a point where it can at least go on the market and we can um, tell people you know there's just a couple things left to do but that it'll look a lot nicer than this and people can imagine the space far easier when it's not got holes in the walls and cabinet doors missing and stuff so all right we're getting on track here to make things look pretty pretty soon